today i'll be discussing with you about the role of pgt now many of you will be wondering what is pgt pgt is pre implantation genetic testing now when do we do pgt where do we do pgt hello friends my name is dr vandana ramanathan I am a consultant fertility specialist at Garbhagudi IVF Center Bangalore. Today I will be discussing with you about the role of PGT. Now many of you will be wondering what is PGT? PGT is pre-implantation genetic testing. Now when do we do PGT? Where do we do PGT? How it is done? These are the things that we will be covering in today's topic. So what exactly is PGT first? Uh, when we do IVF, so in IVF we will be taking out the eggs from the lady and we will be taking the sperm uh, semen sample on the day of egg retrieval and uh, only the mature good eggs are injected with the husband's sperm and they are kept in culture for up to 5 days so 3 to 5 days is what we usually culture for and once we get the embryos those are used for transfer so in pgt what we do is we would prefer to culture the embryo up to day 5 that is a blastocyst culture and once we get blastocyst these blastocysts are subjected to the genetic testing before they are frozen so what we do is the, the blastocyst has outer uh, layer of cells called tophectoderm cells and an inner cell mass so in genetic testing when we do for these embryos we will be taking a few cells from the outer layer of cells outer layer of the embryo a few of the cells are taken and these cells are sent for testing to the genetic lab so these labs that have been sent these uh, tests are usually very advanced uh, genetic labs so that we get a good result after we take out the biopsy we will be freezing the embryo uh, so that we will have the embryos in the frozen state till we get the report of this genetic testing once we get the report of the genetic testing is when we will be using those embryos for transfer so in cases where we have to do pre implantation genetic testing of embryos we will plan a frozen embryo transfer we don't do fresh transfer in these cycles because the report takes a few days to come until then we will have to keep the embryos frozen so once we take out uh, the embryo uh, cells and uh, send for biopsy we freeze the blastocyst so what is the criteria where we do like in which patients do we plan these kind of tests now these are very advanced tests and this pre implantation genetic testing is not done in all patients why is it not done in all patients because it is not indicated in all patients because when you are taking out a biopsy from an embryo obviously it's an invasive procedure you are subjecting that embryo to this invasive procedure so you have to have a reason to do it so when do we plan in which kind of couples do we plan this so patients where the lady has uh, advanced age so 38 years and above patients who have had repeated ivf failures patients who have had repeated implantation failures with good quality embryos so they have had past ivf cycles maybe two or three cycles with good quality embryos or uh, blastocysts that is day 5 embryos of good quality have been transferred and in spite of that they have failed patients who have had recurrent pregnancy losses Uh, patients who have a known genetic uh, abnormality like the couple have done their uh, genetic testing and are found to have some variation in their uh, report in the karyotype report or who have a family history of any genetic disorders these are the patients in whom we consider uh, this pre implantation genetic testing also certain patients who have had previous pregnancies uh, but the child or the previous child has had any genetic problems which are known to be inheritable again these patients can undergo this pre implantation genetic testing to see whether the second child might also have the same problem so that if the uh, child has comes if the embryo comes positive for that particular abnormality then that is considered as an abnormal embryo and we will not transfer it so these are the patients in whom we consider this pre implantation genetic testing uh, now there are types of pre implantation genetic again Uh, genetic testing so there is uh, pgta that is uh, pre implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies so what do we see in this we just see the chromosome numbers that is whether there are any loss in the number of chromosomes or whether there are any gains uh, in the number of chromosomes 
So the report will come as euploid or aneuploid. Euploid embryo is a normal embryo with normal number of chromosomes and an aneuploid embryo is an abnormal embryo which is usually not used for transfer. Only the euploid embryos will be used for transfer. Second is your PGTSR that is pre-implantation genetic testing for structural rearrangements. So this is done in patients where we have done the genetic testing uh, that is the karyotyping of the parents and if they are found to have any rearrangements in their chromosome pattern like translocations or inversions we will be testing the embryos for these kind of abnormalities so in these patients the embryo biopsy is subjected to this test called PGT-SR and the third is pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic disorders that is single gene disorders like Huntington's disease or cystic fibrosis where the patient has a single gene disorder so we have to create specialized probes for the same kind of genetic uh, uh, problem where the patient is having this issue and this uh, exact single gene disorder is tried to be as a, is uh, uh, assessed in the embryo biopsy and if the embryo is found to be having the same genetic problem then this embryo will not be used for transfer. So these are the types of genetic uh, testing that we can offer to patients who have the indication for us to do it. Uh, so we will not usually offer it to all the patients. This is called pre-implantation genetic testing that is PGT. So if you have any of these issues then uh, you can always contact your fertility specialist and find out if this test will be beneficial for you. Uh, I hope you've understood this video and if you liked it, please share and subscribe and uh, do get in touch with us if you have any queries. Thank you very much.